And hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Dennis, I am the Paleo Gamer, and we got a lot of things we need to get to, so let's just hop straight in. Now, a few things have changed since last time. Um, I'm still having issues with my recording software, so if things are a little wonky, forgive me. Um, I've done some building and creation, well, offline, as usual. All that will be in my... Um, if you look down below, you'll see a link to my Twitch stream where a part of that is, but part of that also got lost. But here we are. It's night right now. So while it's night, we're going to take advantage of that and we're going to knock out some MAM research because I've been collecting things just for that. Let's see here. What am I going to need? I'm going to need that. I'm going to need those. I'm going to need that. 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 I need a lot of things, it looks like. And I'm about to run out of space in my inventory here, so we'll just have to come back and do more of this stuff later. But let's get started. Megafauna. We can knock out the last piece. Hostile organisms added to the object scanner. Note, it cannot detect the species, only aggression. There are many creatures that dislike you, Pioneer, but I am your true friend. Aw, thank you, Ada. Uh, alien technology, we still don't have enough Samor to do research. Katerium, I know where Katerium is, I just can't get to it yet, but we will very, very soon. Mycelia, we've made progress here. Yes, we have all those things. Therapeutic inhaler recipe unlocked. It smells like fried breakfast induced cardiac arrest, but surprisingly, it restores you to full health. Ah, uh, yes, I like my heart attack breakfast, don't you? Um, can't quite get here yet because I don't have enough activated coal, and we can't quite. Where is that? Just plain coal. Which do I need there? That's just plain coal. Um,. I can almost do that. I don't have enough fabric, but I can make some fabric to do that. Maybe let's consider that coming up soon. That I can't do because I don't have the polymer resin yet. Um, power slugs. We still haven't found a purple power slug. Quartz. We can do a few things here. Um, Research completed. Crystal Oscillator Recipe Unlocked. New Quartz Research Available. If you can't do that because I don't have Noblesk yet, can't do that because I don't... Well, I don't have enough. I can build more rebar I can do that. We may come back and do that in a little bit. That I can almost do except for modular frames. We're going to have to talk about modular frames in a minute. Uh, and this stuff, I just need a lot more stuff. Sulfur, let's go over here. Hello. I need you. Detonator and basic nobilisk unlocked. Most obstacles can be cleared with the basic nobilisk. It is most effective against organic material and is able to destroy small boulders and porous rock. Deployed nobilisks will stick to the first solid surface they touch and cue on the universal detonator. If you do not recall the order in which you deployed the Nobilisks, remember Fixit does not take responsibility for any harm caused due to human error, even if those errors are genetic. What would the error be genetic have to do with Fixit? Oh well. Um, we can also clear this. Tool belt expanded. I compounded Sulphur's tristatic atom matrix into a quadrimensional gate vortex. You can now carry more stuff. I'm glad that made sense to you, Ada, because it didn't to me. This I'm still waiting on plastic for. Up here, I need um, sulfur, which was one of the thing, which was the thing I couldn't pick up over here. Remember, I said I was out of space. Yeah, have some sulfur. Okay. And the sun's coming up, so we can start doing stuff soon. Yeah. 
Research completed. Experimental power generation research options are now available. These may enhance performance of other fuel sources. This will let me eventually create compacted coal, which I still hate the fact that it takes a hard drive to do it, and turbo fuel, which also takes a hard drive, because I need hard drives for other things. But right now, we need to start looking at smokeless powder. To do that, I need to get plastic. So we need to get that up and running first. Um, that will also let me... I can research this, but I need just to make some more of those things. Some more um, rebar first. But we can do the detonator now. So I'm going to go ahead. What do I need to make a detonator? that I'm missing. I need a object scanner. Don't know why, but okay, fine. There, we have an object scanner. Now I can make a detonator. Okay. And now we just need to make a bunch of this stuff. I can only make 25 right now because I've only got 50 black powder on me, but that's okay for the moment. I have more black powder. Okay. Now let's store a few of these things so I'm not carrying them all around. Uh, where were they? I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. Um, I think everything else is useful at the moment. Um, let's let's move that to the end. Let's put that up here in the middle. Um, just put my weapons up top and my accessories at the bottom. That'll work. Okay. Now then. I think that was a good start. All right, let me show you around a little bit. Uh, one of the new things I did do is um, the Satisfactory Mod Manager is now up and running for Satisfactory 1.0. Yay! So I have got a single mod running at this point, which is conveyor wall holes, which lets me put a conveyor hole in a wall, no matter what that wall is. So I no longer have to have those dull, boring orange walls, or whatever color I paint them, everywhere. I can commit to my glassy aesthetic here. Not that I can't do anything about doors yet. They do make, there is a door anywhere patch, but it, I don't honestly don't like the way it works. Um, I did some more work back here. Um, my old factory has been, my initial iron factory has been torn down and completely rebuilt. And Ignore this bit of a mess right here in front. That's This is just because I was had hit a single material crisis. And this was what I had to use to get past that material. Alright. The factory will eventually get cleaned up and look better. But as of right now, I've got five Mark II miners, which are giving me a total of 1,200 iron ore a mingot. Um, iron ore a minute, and then 40 smelters, which are giving me 1,200 ingots a minute. I have 16 constructors turning those ingots into plates. I'm getting 320 iron plates a minute. 32 of them are creating rods, giving me 480 a minute, and half those rods are being fed into another 24 constructors making screws, giving me 960 a minute. I do have one miner and smelter bank right now that is actually not feeding anything. It's just sitting there storing its ingots. That's the thing right there. This is my iron plate factory. And over here we have what is actually a pair of smelter banks on each side. Mark II miners feeding 16 smelters. Each smelter is dumping its output that way and bringing it back out this way just for compactness sake. They fit neatly in a 5x5 grid. I decided to use the frame 
walls and roofs for them just because smelters are constantly belching out smoke like you can see over there and it just didn't feel right to put those inside um, I'm building all my us first tier stuff or first layer or what do you want to call it stuff up here on this level so here I have um, plates and over here are the rods in this madhouse of a factory right here half the rods get sent back up here and I'm still working on my factory aesthetics factory floor aesthetics but as you can see I've got a start going on and those come up here where we feed all of these constructors making rods or turning the rods into screws now I'm a little unhappy with it because um, it takes half again as many constructors as it does directly so I've had to extend this factory floor out a bit longer than I would like um, but I think I can work with it I've actually considered if I can get like um, if I can get 16 power slugs I can overclock all of these 50% and have a one to one ratio between screws and rods machines then I can just pump the output of one directly into the other bring them up here and I can make them the same size on the other hand I'm also hoping to get to cast screws menus at some or um, recipe at some point the copper mines have not been redone yet they're down here somewhere where's my copper yeah you see copper is currently not doing anything the advantage is that I've got a lot of copper components. Copper is also pretty simple to use because copper only gets to be wire and sheets and wire turns into cables and that's it. Whereas with um, iron you've got plates and rods, rods turn into screws and then various combinations of plates and rods go and get turned into um, reinforced iron plates, rotors, reinforced iron plates and rods get turned into modular frames and reinforced iron plates and rotors get turned into smart plating. So there's a lot more complexity going on there and yes we're going to need all those things going forward. Uh, these, that was what my, I just gave you a brief tour of my smelter factory. These are what my smelter banks all look like. And I'm actually happy with the aesthetics here for the most part. I don't like my wiring solution yet. So I'm still trying to decide how I want to get my power to look. Now, as part of all of this, um, I actually ran out of power. I mean, one of the reasons I still have that one smelter bank right there not doing anything is I ran out of power completely. So I had to go find some more power. So way down here, there is another nice set of coal veins, including a pure coal vein, which I am unfortunately vastly underutilizing at this point. Uh, there were a couple of bores down here. Unfortunately, those bores are no longer with us. There's a... Oh, there's another lizard doggo. I've befriended two lizard doggos now. I'll introduce them to UE later. But you see, I have another of my mini coal setups down here. See, there's... And there's a crash drop pod right there, which I have taken advantage of. I only have um, four coal plants up here, mainly because I'm pretty much, this is a pretty tight spot. I mean, I barely have, as you can see, this is literally clipping through. And I've only got room for two more on this side. I might be able to get one or two of there. What I'm going to need to do is build that layer up several higher so it will clear all this stuff and then including the water extractors and just have the water extractors down here but 
right now this thing is producing a massive 240 coal per minute and I'm using 60. But it's giving me enough power to get me over the hump, as it were. And I spent a lot of time doing that online, and you would rather have me spend 10 minutes just showing you around what I did as opposed to you seeing these several hours it actually took me to put all that together. And which way is it going? That way. Okay. Oh yeah, I have no Blisk now, don't I? Hello. What am I forgetting? Goodbye. Ah, it feels so good, doesn't it? Okay. And fart rocks too. Hey. There. Yeah, that's why we get rid that's why I wanted Noblesk. Well, most of why I wanted Noblesk. Let me show you the other reason. In a little bit I can unlock explosive rebar and explosive rebar will literally let me just shoot those things with the rebar gun and it'll go away. The other reason I needed it is because way over here there is yet another iron node that I am not utilizing yet. The reason I'm not utilizing it is it has that rock on top of it. Well, not anymore. There we are. A nice usable iron node, which will join this set of stuff. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Just like I'll get back to this concrete node sometime. Once I unlock the alternate recipe for wet concrete, I'm going to start building that here because I have the um, water over there. And there's one of my pet lizard doggos over there, but I don't want to go swimming just to introduce you to it. Let's see if my other one's up here. I think I told you last time you can um, befriend lizard dog. What in the world? Huh, okay. Um, wonder how long that's been there. You can befriend lizard doggos simply by giving them pale berries. But you gotta be careful because if you're attacked by a boar or something while the lizard doggo was around, the lizard doggo will try to defend you and the lizard doggo will probably get killed. And lizard doggos are our friends because they bring us things. Yeah. You up here somewhere, boy? Maybe back in its lair. Or its den. I don't know. Is that over there? Nah, I don't see it. Okay. But speaking of... Um, alternate recipes, it's time to get going on stuff. I did pick up a couple of hard drives. So we're going to put a hard drive here and let it start looking at it. Okay. Now hard drives take 10 minutes to research while everything else takes 30 seconds or three seconds. Uh, my only problem with that, to be honest, is that, well, it's fine. I just don't like the three seconds. Way back in the early days of early access, I'm going over here because I'm gonna grab some more black powder. I've been slowly assembling it here, but I have to go grab the sulfur and the coal manually. And over here I've been making motors, but I also, my rotors and stators are way off away. Um, make some more explosives. Oh, that's here. Huh. I never realized black powder was a... Um, oh, okay. Here, not... Never mind. I'm rambling at this point. Uh, 
I had always tried to make black powder in the craft bench. It never occurred to me to look at the equipment workshop. here for now, which we'll find a use for later. Okay, in the meantime, what I've got to start doing now is, oh, I was talking about power. If you notice, right now, my total production is 1,500 megawatts. Whereas if everything decides to start running at once, I'm at 13 to 1,400 megawatts. So I, yeah, I've got like 135 megawatt overhead but that's just a little tighter than I would like so we're gonna try to get fuel generators up and running and that requires that we have um, oil remember we unlocked that some time ago okay almost due north of us so let's see what's due north of us there's a crash car drive over there I think Or maybe that's a one of those things, whatever they're called. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to kill those. Ah, I don't remember those things glowing before. Okay. Oh, another Mercer Sphere. composition. Defile our temple and the threads will sew the windows open. Pattern analysis continuing. New instruction. Repeat pioneer exposure to alien artifacts. Brain damage compensation packages may be available on successful completion of a special claims form. Our expert fix-it medical staff are impartial and always open to assess your claim. Yeah, you're not exactly inspiring me with confidence here, Ada, but okay. Remember I said something about wanting a lot of these things. Okay, it, went up, it was up this way somewhere, was it? This side or that side? Uh, probably should have gone the other way, because this was a good dead end. Uh, let me go grab this power slug. the other way. Huh, I ran right past it. Can I go around? Looks like it. Another one of those things. Another power slug. Die. Big one. Ouch. Okay. I hate those things. Okay, how are we doing on inventory space? Okay. What do we got up here? It. Okay. Do I 
get back there. Oh, there's a drop pod over here. Looks, no, it's just red. Orange. Something orange. The power slug. Normal crew to alt mode. Okay. And there's another one right over there, if I remember correctly. So. So, there's one over there. Let's aim it this way and kind of merge them into one another. Well, let me make sure that's right. There's that one. There's that one. Oh, there's a bunch more that way. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, let's move it south, bring that one in, and run those over towards the others. To try to sort of centralize all this stuff. Oil extractor, there we go. Okay, and the other one was over here. It was close enough that I saw it. Oh, it's right here. Ah, I was standing on it. I thought that was water. <laughs> Duh. Okay. What is this one before I put anything down? Is it, are you a pure or an impure? Okay. Okay, so I'll aim you that way towards them and then we'll run everybody together. Let me make sure there's nobody south of me. Oh, that's the one I'm standing on. Okay, those are all over there. So let's run these together and then run them across. How does that sound? And we'll just try to get all our oil in one place. Oil extractor. Go the other way. There you go. You're hovering in the air, so let's try to avoid that. So, I said run that way, but there's a wall in the way, isn't it? Okay. Guess we'll just start running it this way. Okay. We just had our ma'am finish. So, rather than run all the way back, we're going to take advantage of the fact that these things work everywhere. And let's see what it came up with. Please be good. Please be good. Okay. <sighs> Heavy oil residue or bolted frame? Honestly, I hate to say it, both of those are kind of good. Damn, I get two good ones at once. Bolted frames are good because, well, they're a little more efficient, I believe, than using the... Here, I'll show you. This is this will sit here till I go away. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Normally, to build a modular frame, I take three plates and 12 iron rods. Remember, 12 iron rods will create 18 screws because of the half again thing. 
think. No, that's not right. Now I'm confusing myself. But anyway, three plates and 12 iron rods give me um, two modular frames per minute. And just because I've confused myself, I just find it faster to throw a machine down. I know I can look it up, I just find it faster. And making screws, one rod makes four screws. So the 12 rods that took would produce 48 screws. Now over here, with our new alternate recipe, and it takes 56 instead of 48, so it takes eight more screws. It's producing two. You're producing two. Okay, the other one's just faster. It takes more iron rods, but produces five per minute instead of two. Um, although, where we are right now, I kind of like the idea of the heavy oil residue better. Because what this lets me do is... <sighs> although it may not be better, right now I can turn crude oil directly into rubber or plastic and get um, heavy oil residue as a result. But then I can turn the, eh, I don't know, maybe I don't like either of them now. And honestly, I was better off with those the first two. I uh, should have gone with my gut instincts. Oh well. Let's look at the other one and see what happens. Yep. That was my bad. I should have done it the other way. Going with the other two. But anyway. Let me... Go up here. Clear some space here. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to put a platform right here and make this where I'm running my. Um, run my oil pipeline that way. You can see no power slug over there. So let's just do this. Okay. <laughs> Basically exploded as soon as it hit it. Which is good to know. And that is now just hovering in the air because of <laughs> we blew up whatever was here. Okay. Just because I'm collecting some stuff, I want to get my um, 
clear some inventory space out. Let's go here. All right. Turn all of those into DNA capsules. So I only have one stack instead of two. And turn all of these into power shards. Just so they're missing. Okay. I should do the clean up the biomass. But okay, that takes a long time, so I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's go back to what I was doing here. And now you need another foundation here just to line up properly. start running, laying some pipe, as it were. I could do foundations, but I'm not going to worry about it right now, because I just want this to come this way. to be where it wants to be. Next one, I want to be in line with that. So, in line with both of them, actually. So, actually, it may be the easiest way to do that. trying to make this look a little organized. How organized is up to me. Now we want you to run all the way here, although you can't make it. cheat a little bit here. Again, just to make things work.
These are too high. You notice that's actually clipping into the ground, too, as part of the problem, but... Uh... You're going to be about right here. So let's get really complicated here. start running this this way. And in the meantime, we're going to throw a junction right here. If I do it right, you see it will tell me that it's lined up. And then... You can put this straight up into here. Yes, it's clipping through the... I don't think I can put a floor hole there and have it cut sharp enough is the only problem. I think that'll complain that it's too sharp. Oh, no, it did work. Okay. I'm actually surprised that worked. Alright, now I just need to get these guys connected to what will be power. Oh, and our research is done. Okay, let's do a little math here. This is going to be producing 120 per minute. That over there is producing 60 per minute, so we got a total of 180 a minute coming in here. Now this can hold 300. Or it will be holding 300 once we get to where we're going. Oh, and before I get too far away from all of this, just so I'll remember, what this pipe is carrying. Oil. probably should have used the same pattern I was using over there and not have foundations everywhere, so let me back this up a little bit. Yes, the story of my satisfactory life. Okay. This guy is now capable of going a little bit longer because he's going from the... Um, It originated at the valve, not the um, cutoff.
Just fits my aesthetics better. I just have a bunch of pylons holding these things up rather than having a... Here we are. And it's starting to get dark again. Okay, fine. And let's pretty this up a little bit. And we're, by pretty it up a little bit, I mean, let's, um... Let's run a nice catwalk along it. So it looks like we'll be able to come in and do actual maintenance on this thing. And... I hate to do this to you, Tree, but I guess I could have put the catwalk on the other side, but oh well. And we'll put our stairs here. Now then, we have a nice... So now we've got a nice walkway that we can use to access our plant over here with when we get ready to go to our plants. And we can... make this look something like we had a plan when we were doing all of this. By running this power line on allowed too. Now we can... Just hope that the 180 we're producing back there will make its way back to where we're going at some future point. Now let's see where our next oil reserves are. Yeah, I think they're in that direction. Oh, there's some north of me too. Oh, okay. Should I bring that down here first? Yeah, let's go see who that looks like. I keep forgetting. 
forgetting to look for my um, power slug. Keep forgetting to see what came out of that last hard drive we looked at. Oh, there's another one of those damn things. Where's your remains? But of course, this happens and it's the dark. There it is. Okay. All right. Let's go get this thing. And where was that other? Okay. Okay, it's right here. Okay. And it's another pure node. Okay, that's going to produce some slight problems for me, but actually it won't, because that'll give me exactly 300 coming through that pipe when I merge all of these together. because you can see my pipeline down there. So. And I'm out of motors. So it looks like we're going to have to go exploring. Go back for a while. And get some more stuff. But let's check our... Let's check what our hard drive is. Hey, maybe we got something we don't need a motor for. Okay. Solid steel ingots. That was one I wanted earlier. All the Katarium circuit boards will be very useful soon, but this one is one I definitely wanted because it will let my steel production rate go up. So I'm going to take that one, which means I'm going to have to go rebuild my steel factory. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now I do right now is just hand make a handful of motors. How many did I need? I have three. Did I need ten? See, this is why I don't like doing things like motors on stream because they're very slow. Okay, there's 10. Nope. I need 15. <sighs> okay. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do that. So, we're going to call it right here. Uh, we've got the basics of our oil system set up. We're just not doing anything with the oil yet. I just need to bring it all to one central place and start working on it. So, in the meantime, I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and we have been playing Satisfactory 1.0. And I look forward to seeing all of you next time. <laughs>